Hi, welcome back. Happy Monday. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Leave me a comment. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you so much. Today, I'm going to be doing a eyeshadow combination that is specific for when you wear your glasses. So I don't know if you wear glasses. Um, if you don't wear glasses, this is still a really pretty eyeshadow combination. Um, the reason that I'm doing this today is because I do wear contacts most of the time, but every now and then I do wear my glasses. And when I wear my glasses, I notice that my eyeshadow look has to be a lot darker to be very noticeable. So today is going to be centered around how to create the perfect eyeshadow combination for the days that you want to keep your eye your eyewear on your glasses on or maybe you wear glasses all the time so i find that just making things a little bit darker a little bit less lightness right about at the lid area so we're gonna go ahead i'm gonna get started and i'm gonna show you exactly how i did this eyeshadow combination so i'm gonna get started today with light beam liquid eyeshadow so i'm gonna put that on my eye all over so you can either start with a liquid eyeshadow or you can start with an eye primer either way. I'm going to take my cream brush, so my cream color brush, and just blend this out all over my eyelid here. I love how shimmery this is and how sparkly it is. It gives a great base to get started with. Then also my cheeks, I have on contour today, so I love to mix together. Let me just tell you this real quick. I love to mix together the Latte Contour and the Glazed Highlighter for a really pretty bronzed look. So just kind of mixing those two together as your contour and then just adding that little bit of shimmer really will give you kind of that bronzy look. And then I used let me find it shy blush as my blush today so that's the blush that i used. shy blush it's one of my very favorites especially for summertime um, the next thing i'm going to do is we're going to go in with a darker color so we're going to get started with espresso i'm taking my cream or nope not my cream color brush my crease brush and i'm going to pick it up this espresso right here i'm going to put it right here in this outer corner so i'm kind of just putting it right along the lash line and then I'm also going to create a little bit of a V out here. This is going to be my darkest color. This one, again, is espresso out here. So right along kind of my crease line here. And then I've also got it right down here along this the lash line. And then next what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up the mahogany which is also kind of a darker brown, not as dark as espresso. It's a little bit more of a chocolate brown. I'm going to pick it up with the same brush and I'm going to put it right on the in kind of the inside of where I just put that espresso. So I'm just layering those two darker colors out there. And now I'm going to take my blending brush and go ahead and start blending this out. So I'm just going to do little circles on top of where the color is and kind of windshield wiper back and forth. I love how these eyeshadows blend out. They blend out so nicely. Hang on, let me grab my mirror. They blend out so, so nicely, which is really huge because especially when you're using darker colors like we're using today, the espresso and the mahogany. The mahogany is not as dark, but the espresso is pretty dark. So whenever you're using those colors, you want to make sure that they're nice and blendable, which is one thing I love about the Mary Kay Chroma Fusion eyeshadows is they are so blendable. So you can really work them around, kind of fix them and put them exactly where you want them to be. All right, so you can see it almost has a little hint of shimmer to it, but it's not that shimmery. You can definitely tell the side's a lot shimmerier. Um, so if you want it to be matte and you want it to stay more matte, using an eye primer will keep it much more matte. But using that liquid eyeshadow that we use kind of offers a little bit of shimmer to, be, to begin with, which I love. Next, I'm going to take the Burnished Bronze, which is right here. It's a pretty bronzy, shimmery, sparkly and I'm gonna pick it up with my all over eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna just apply that right over the top of that espresso and mahogany. Just kinda of working that around here. All right, now it's got that pretty bronzed look to it too. That's gonna to lighten it a little bit. It's also going to fix any spots that you might have if you feel like, oh, I didn't accidentally, I missed a little bit of blending right there. That's gonna fix that too with that little bit of shimmer. The shimmer is very forgiving. 
So the matte, you have to be a lot more precise with. So the shimmer is really, if you're new to makeup or you still feel like you're a beginner to makeup, adding that shimmer is really going to help. And I hate when I hear people say, oh, but if you're over a certain age, you can't wear shimmer. That is not true. That is so not true. I don't care how old I get. <laughs> I will always be wearing a little bit of shimmer on my eyes if that's what I want to do um, because it's just, it's so pretty. So you can always wear shimmer. Don't let people tell you that you cannot. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my all over eyeshadow brush. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this biscotti right here, which is a matte cream color. I'm going to put that matte cream color right in this inner corner. And I'm just going to work it a little bit in here. So we're not going to go crazy. We're not going to go too far in. So again, this is kind of that the deal with the glasses is we want it to be a little bit darker so that it shows up through your glasses. So keeping it darker outside and kind of in the middle is going to be a key factor here. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rose gold, which is right here. I'm going to pick a little of that up with my, again, all over powder brush. I'm going to put it in this inner V here, kind of put it right in that inner corner so you can see it right over here too. So just lightening that little bit up. Okay, now next what I'm going to do is I am going to, oh my goodness, I got something in my eye over here. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of Moonstone next, which is right here. That's a creamy sparkle color. And I'm going to put that right in the inner corner over here to brighten that area up. And then a little bit yep, right here. So we've kind of got that moonstone, then a little bit of the rose gold, and then you have your brown combination over there. So what do you think so far? What do you think about that eyeshadow combo? Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of eyeliner. Another thing I always like to do whenever I wear my glasses, I always like to wear eyeliner. Again, it's just to kind of make it a little bit darker so that it sticks out and it, you can see your eye makeup through your glasses. So that's the key here. I am going to be using my little pot of black eyeliner today. I love this gel eyeliner so much. So I just take the eyebrow eyeliner brush, I just dip it in here, pick up a little bit of product, and then I take it the top and I just put it right in the top, kind of even it out a little bit. Make sure I have a nice flat line here. All right, and now I can go ahead and apply my eyeliner. So I've got my mirror here. Again, I don't have my contacts in, so it's kind of funny. I can't look as far away. I have to get it nice and close. Um, but anyway, I am going to take my eyeliner brush here, and I'm just going to put this right along my lash line. One thing I love about this gel liner is it's really, really, really easy to use. So if you feel like you're new to eyeliner in general, this is a really great thing to get started with just because it's so correctable, um, it's easily blendable, and it's not too harsh. So I'm just applying it right along this lash line. Just tiny little dashes are going to be the best way to apply it. All right, so I just added a little bit of eyeliner there. And now next, I'm just going to add my mascara, and then we'll be all done with that eyeshadow combination. The mascara I'm using, I'm still using my Lash Love Lengthening Mascara. Now, with your glasses, this is really key. You need to make sure you curl your lashes first. Definitely make sure you curl your lashes. So again, I always tell you to curl your eyelashes, but the main reason it's so important to curl them, especially if you're going to wear glasses, is when you're wearing your glasses, they sit right up here, right next to your eye, right? So if you have your eyelashes and they're sticking straight out, they might hit the end of your eyeglasses, and that's just really irritating. It's very annoying. I know if you wear glasses, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So to prevent that from happening, I like to curl my eyelashes first. Put my mascara on and then your eyelashes are going to stick more straight up so that they're not hitting the glasses and you can see them through the glasses. So two key factors there. All right, now I'm just going to apply a little bit of this Lash Love Waterproof Mascara. Let me grab my mirror. And tell me down below too, tell me, do you wear glasses? And if you do, do you feel like you struggle with your eye makeup when you're wearing your glasses? So tell me that down below. Hopefully some of these tips are going to help you out. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do. We are almost to a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here. Um, and make sure you like this video too. If you like this content, make sure you come back. I don't want you to miss out on any more tutor tutorials. If you're new to makeup, I've got a playlist for beginner makeup. 
if you're looking for fun eyeshadow combinations i've got those two skincare tutorials all kinds of good things and if you want to see something specific just let me know i'm happy to make it for you all right i'm gonna grab a little bit on my bottom lashes here so just barely i always kind of look up a little bit and then just like barely grab those little guys all right and now last but not least I was going to tell you what I have on my lips. So my lip combination today is a nice nude lip combo. I can put my glasses on now that my eye makeup is all done. So you can see here, okay, well, you can kind of see because this is, that ring light's annoying my glasses, but you can see, oh, let me just kind of move this around a little bit so that you can see here a little bit better. But anyway, you can see through my glasses. Maybe let me just turn it off. Okay, there you go. Now you can see it a little bit better. But anyway, you can see through my glasses that you can actually see my eyeshadow combination. It is shining through. You can see my lashes. You can see the eyeliner. You can see the eye makeup. All right, let me turn it back on. Um, so thank you. Thank you, Mary Kay Makeup, for looking good straight through my glasses. So if you wear glasses, I hope these tips help you. Um, but anyway, let me tell you what I have on my lips now. So on my lips... That ring light is driving me crazy through my glasses, though. Um, I will post a picture, though. It'll be in the like in the pinned description. It'll show you exactly what it looks like through with glasses as well. Um, but for my lip combo, what we used today was I used my deep nude lip liner as an outline. So I outlined my lips with a deep nude lip liner. I filled them in with the Bashful U lipstick, which is a semi matte, and then I used Sheer Illusion lip gloss over the the top just to give it that glossy finish and it just doesn't add any color to it all it really does is add a little bit of shine adds that gloss and adds that little bit of sparkle as well so thank you for watching tell me what you think down below let me know what you think about this lip combo let me know what you think about the eyeshadow combo and are you going to try out a little bit of a darker eyeshadow combination underneath your glasses so thank you for tuning in with me today and i'll see you back here next time bye